hello guys welcome back to the channel and i saw many of you guys facing the issue on this lab so here is the updated video for this lab so if you are using a windows machine so just download this ppk file and if you are using a mac or chrome os then just download this pm file once you're done with this just simply scroll down and here you can see for connecting to vm we if you are using a windows machine so this just use putty and if you are using a mac so just use this software called terminus you can just download this software from app store now what you have to do just copy this external ip come back over here click on this create host paste the ip over here then copy this username paste over here then click on this set a key click on new key then click on import and just import that key which you just downloaded like this now just wait click on this save then just wait it will reload it's done click on this arrow double click over here wait for a second and just simply click on continue now just simply come on the task called install packages now just copy this first command now let me just clear this out now run the first command like this now no need to run this cat command just simply scroll down copy this sudo command copy this paste over here now just simply scroll down and here you can see the complete init.pp file must look like this so what you have to do if you just simply come over here and type ls you can see this directory how to just go to this directory just simply type cd m and hit tab button and the directory name will be autofill just hit enter again type ls and here you can see init.file so just type nano 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 again type i and hit tab button and then you are in this nano editor now how to select all this content so i am using shift and up down key if this trick is not working for you then you have to just remove all the content manually now how to remove it just press ctrl k and it will be removed now just copy all this content paste over here and just press ctrl x and again shift y and hit enter and it's safe now what you have to do we have done with this now we have to just copy this command and run over here just run over here okay I am glad that I faced this kind of issue because what happened sometimes commands are not properly loaded so that's why I am facing this issue so what you have to do just press ctrl c now what if for let me just show you if I just copy this and refresh the page and again come back to this command here you can see this part is not properly loaded so that's why I faced that issue so just copy this thing and paste over here now I won't face any issue I will get external IP now copy this thing carefully click on this host then click on this new host and just paste the ip address over here then copy this username paste the username over here like this then click on this set a key then click on this new key then click on this import then import that file which you just downloaded click on save it will reload click on this arrow double click over here just wait for a second and then click on continue now what is happening over here when you are trying to run this command just copy this and we are in linux instance when we try to run this command over here we are getting this error so now what you have to do in the description box i will share one github link just open that link and you are able to access this document now just copy all this content and all this command and run over here on the linux instance now just wait for to this command get execute and once it's done let's see the magic just simply scroll down and just wait over here And it's done now if i just again copy the same command and run over here i won't face any error just wait and let's see And it's done now if i just simply come back over here and click on the check my progress i will get a score without any issue just wait and let's see and that's the way we have to complete this task now what we have to do we have to just again switch to puppet vm so just copy this command click on over here and from here you can just cross verify on which vm we are so now we are in puppet vm now just paste the command over here so we are done with this now no need to run this cat command 
again simply scroll down copy this sudo command run over here now once you run this command and if you just simply type ls you can see this true directory now what you have to do just simply type cd m and hit tab button so done now again type ls and here you can see nano oh sorry init.pp file so just simply type nano i and hit tab button so we are in this nano editor how to select shift and down arrow how to remove control k now just simply scroll down and here you can see the complete manifest slash init.pp file must look like this now just copy this content paste over here how to save control x shift y hit enter and it's done now just simply scroll down and now copy this content before that make sure we are in the manifest so what you have to do just simply type cd dot dot and hit enter then we are in the machine.info and again if you just simply type ls you can see this two temp uh, directories so now just copy this sudo command run over here like this now just simply scroll down and what you have to do we have to just edit this file info.erb how to do that just simply type cd then press t and hit tab button okay and we are in this template directory again just simply type ls and here you can see info that erb file so how to edit nano i and hit tab button hit enter we are in this directory how to select all this content shift and down arrow Control k now scroll down copy this content paste over here like this how to save Control x shift y hit enter and it's done now just copy this command and where we have to run linux instance so just simply click over here and we are in the linux instance now run this command over here it will run without any issue and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on the check my progress you will get a score without any issue okay now we are in the last task so the, where we have to switch back on puppet so just copy this command again switch back to your original vm run the command over here again scroll down now copy this command run over here again scroll down now copy this sudo command run again scroll down now copy this command and run over here now what you have to do just simply scroll down and here you can see if you just simply scroll down you can see the complete robot slash manifest dot init dot pp this file just copy this file and paste over here how to save Control x shift y hit enter okay so we are done with this now again scroll down copy this command and run over here like this now here again select all this content press Control k scroll down copy this content press over here paste over here how to save Control x shift y hit enter it's done now just copy this command again switch back to linux instance come back over here and run the command over here just wait it will be done in couple of seconds and it's done now if you just simply click on the check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day